right back again. Back again with vlog number 20. So we leave Rio Grande Gorge for the Orilla. Orilla Verde NRA. And we're heading towards Story Lake State Park. That was the plan. That was the plan. We were going to head towards there so we could load up with water, yep. take showers, and then head into the National Forest. We should talk about that. We hadn't, we didn't talk about that. When we went into our house sit a, a few vlogs ago, it was so cold we had to winterize the trailer. So whatever water I had left was gone. So from that point up to what Yvette's talking about when we're going into Story Lake State Park, which is in Las Vegas, New Mexico, we have no water to cook with, clean with. Anything. Or anything. Besides what's in the rig. Right, in the trailer. In the rig, we still had about a half a tank of drinking water, which yes. was fine. But it was a little challenging to wash dishes and clean and, and right. do whatnot. So that's why we were going to Story Lake. Yeah. So we get to Story Lake. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if I want to talk about it. I'm trying not to swear. I know. It's just, it's you know what? It's another. It was a shit hole, okay? Yeah, it's nowhere that we want to stay. So we pulled in and we pulled right out. I know what, thinking, I know the word you used. You used oh, a G word. <laughs> Stop it. No, you should I, use I'm it. I'm not using it. We should tell the truth. <laughs> you can handle the truth. No, we can't. Yes, you can. So we leave Story Lake. It's a drive in, drive back out. Yeah. We're not thinking, okay, where, where are we going to go? The internet's still not yeah. great in the truck. Yeah, really? Heavy. So. Oh, wait. Oh, you missed the best part. What? Are you already at Story Lake? Yeah. What did we see before we got to Story Lake? Yeah. Oh, great. Right. Okay, so Mary we got to back Joseph. up a little bit here. We'll right. get back to Story Lake. So later. we left the gorge. Sleet, kind of snowy, crappy roads, but not bad. I mean, it wasn't freezing on the roads, but the temperatures were hovering. And we're, yeah. And I don't know what the name of the town was, and I'll put it down below there, but all of a sudden, John goes by the sign that says Carson National Forest, and there's a dirt road off to the left. And the dirt roads are what? What do you mean? The, oh, forest roads. Exactly. So the it's a forest FR road, whatever. 20. So, and I've been trying to be better about just driving by things. And I know Mr. Yagazinski out there is going to brutally hammer me for going by this big NRA training center <laughs> outside, of, outside of Taos. And it was gonna, way before Taos. It was, it was way outside yeah, of Taos. Yeah, so whatever, he's gonna, right. he's gonna land base me about that. So, but, so we get in, I, I pull over, I do a U-turn in the highway, I go back and we start heading up this dirt road, not knowing anything about it. Yeah. Other than the gate was open. Right, gate was open. The dirt road was actually a better dirt road than what we used to live on. Yeah. And we just... We started driving. And you could only go 15 miles an hour, 20, 20 miles an hour. And we didn't really have a plan, but I do know it was about 1045, 11 in the morning yeah. when we started this adventure. Yeah. 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 Now this is a forest road that's open to the public and it's used primarily for camping and ATVs. So there are ATV trails that you could see off one way or the other. And every once in a while you'd pass an area that might have three or four campsites on the side of the road. You might have a fire ring and there might be a pit toilet. So that would be kind of an area where people would park. Yep. But we just kept going. And going. And going. And going. And going. I mean, we probably could have yep. come back out the other side of it, wherever it was, but probably closer to Taos. But I think we were on it for yeah. about seven, seven and a half miles. It was seven and a half miles in, and more importantly, we started off probably about 6,000 feet and ended up about close to eight to 9,000 feet. Right. And when we got to 9,000, and I'll tell you that it, it really was like the, a dream that I've had since I was a kid. The, just the area where once in a while there was an open meadow and there's these really tall spiky fir trees on each side, just beautiful forest. And then it started, the precipitation changed as yeah, we started, started to climb snowing. and it started to snow. I mean, we contemplated staying there, but yep, you know night. what, it was 
already 33 degrees. We did we did have lunch there. Yep. We had a nice little lunch there. Yep. Great scenery. But got, got turned the rig around and parked off to the side. And uh, we're Yvette's making lunch. We got the furnace running, keeping yeah, it warm. Yeah, because it's cold. It gets cold up there. And I'm looking at the temperature, and it's 33, 32, 33. And it seemed like it was almost 32 on the our other thermometer out there. Right. But on the truck, it would always dial it up a little bit. Had lunch, talked about staying there. It was just too cold. I didn't want to spend the night in 20 degree weather. Whatever. <laughs> nice. I thought, but it was definitely something I want to go back to because it was yes. such a cool area. All right, so we start out. So we start coming back down the mountain. I reset the odometer because that's how we know it was seven and a half miles in. And we start back down and it's still like snowing, but it's not bad. I mean, it's just... I don't know. It was accumulating. But I but all of a pictures. sudden it was just, it started accumulating and, it, and I was just getting the giggles because I don't care. I'm heading downhill now. Yeah, well, and it was getting harder. The gr yeah, the ground wasn't frozen, so well, we knew we could make it out. But it was just pretty cool, none the same. And then we got out back on the highway that we had originally in, and off back down towards Las Vegas we went. And uh, But it was very cool. Definitely go back. So like Yvette said, so we got the Story Lake State Park. Pulled in, pulled out. Yeah. It was just yep. nowhere we were going to stay. And, I mean, granted, we should have been like, okay... We need to, we didn't really need to take shit, but we needed water. Yeah, but we, we didn't even think about right, that as we right. drove right back out. And the place was closed. The visitor center was closed and it wasn't even lunchtime. It's like, it I don't know, they must know we're coming to town. It's like, let's go home, they're coming. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because you self pay. I mean, there are plenty of people that stay yeah, but if there. you had questions or something, well, right. self-pay, we could have gone up. Why pay if right. there's nobody there? And the entire place wasn't open. Yeah, I know. If we could have stayed way at the end, yeah. we that might was have true. stayed there, but they yeah. don't open up yeah. all these places right off the bat. And see, we're going for the primitive spots because we know that's yeah. where it's usually the thinnest in terms of the number of people because most people gravitate towards the hookups. Right. Except tent campers, and there's usually not too, too many of those, so... Of course, like Yvette said, pull under the loop. And the, the part of the loop that goes off to the next campground, which was right. what we were aiming for, it's the locked. gate was locked. And we didn't know that ahead of time. How, so You don't know right. sometimes. So now we don't know really where we're going. Right. We get back on the road. Yep. Pull over to a McDonald's. Right. We use McDonald's back. sometimes as a pee break. and Ice coffee and a coffee. Ice coffee it's our and a little coffee. Treat in the afternoon. And, and it also gives us kind of time to regroup, use the internet, and kind of figure out where we're going to go or confirm where we're going. And then, still though, the internet kind of sucked. Right. And but then, then I found out about. Oh, yeah. Por, El Porvina. We'll put it down there below. But it's the name of a campground a in the Santa Fe National, National Forest. Forest yeah. So we left out of Las Vegas, and it was pretty easy. You get on one road and just follow it. Pretty much you take one right, I think, and then you just right. keep following it, and it comes here in the Santa Fe National Forest, which will... Uh, which is a pretty, another... Yeah. It was actually a really good deal. Oh, it's a great deal yeah. to Where stay here. Yeah. 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 But it was, it's another really gorgeous ride in yeah another gorgeous ride in through canyons winding roads there were a couple of times where you could see people coming in the you know on the other side of the canyon really just way too fast right. but i guess we we've heard that the the locals tell us that the locals drive too fast on it which is interesting also passed an interesting landmark of sorts which we didn't really know what it was at the time but there was this big house Huge. In, uh, in a meadow. It was probably a quarter of a mile off the road, but you could see it. It was like a giant, like, I don't know, 6,500 square foot, like almost the size of a big barn. But it was a house. And apparently that's where Patrick Swayze lived, or his widow lives now. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that in our next video. I know, but I just get a little teaser. Okay. We'll teaser to the next one of vlog number oh god 26. Yeah. 26 okay, so vlogs. all right. Yeah. So we're out guys. Yeah. Until yeah. until the next vlog. Next vlog, yeah. 
which for us is going to be another <laughs> five minutes. But you might no have to wait a change. week. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. See ya. Take care. Bye bye.